Hey guys, I want to show you something that I've had my eye on for quite some time now. This is the mountable rifle clearing trap by Action Target. Now, they make a handgun version of it also, but I specifically wanted the rifle version because it's rated for rifle caliber rounds up to 308. The handgun trap obviously is for handgun uh, calibers. This is pretty cool. Um, this is going to serve a lot of purposes for me. Many times I am at my house, in my studio, uh, in my shop, and I'm either working on guns or I'm filming a video on something with a gun, and I don't always need to come out to a range setting and send range uh, rounds down range. A lot of times, all I need to do is test fire a firearm just to see if it works or not. That's not the safest thing to do, obviously, in your own home, but in a non-hot environment like a gun range. That's where these bullet traps and these clearing traps come into play. You can very easily, using this type of model right here, insert the muzzle of your firearm into the trap itself, and you can contain that round safely. In a lot of cases, you're using something like this to confirm that the gun is clear in the event that you think it is. But in my case, I may be wanting to test out a gun to see if it fires properly, to see if it functions properly. I don't need to make a 25, 30 minute ride out to the range just to put one or two shots down range. This is gonna allow me to do what I need to do. These models by Action Target have containment packs in them. It's high density rubber that is going to absorb and take on any of those rounds that you're sending in there, but it also has double walled armored steel plating around this thing in the event one of those rounds makes it to the through the actual composite material and to the wall itself. Now, over time, you can, you can change out those composite rubber materials inside of it. You simply take these eight bolts off of the front of it, reach inside and you get that composite material once it's damaged and can't contain the, the rounds anymore, and you simply replace that and you're back in business again. Now, what I wanna do today is I know what it can do. I know it's going to contain the bullets. I've actually tested this thing already and it can. What I want to do is I want to see what kind of sound that we're talking about here. And this is more a curiosity thing. This isn't any scientific test for any particular reason other than to satisfy my own curiosity. If I'm going to be clearing a gun, and I've contacted local law enforcement, by the way, to make sure that I'm okay to be firing this in my house. But if I'm going to be clearing rounds in my house, I'm just curious that is this thing going to mute or muffle the sound enough to where it's not going to alarm my neighbors. I'm going to be using an app on my iPad Pro here. And yes, it's not scientific. This is as good as it gets in terms of an app and the abilities of uh, the iOS system. It's not like the sound meter of the professional quality one that I have at home, but this is gonna be close enough. It's gonna show us a difference in sound uh, versus outside of the trap and inside the trap. So let's give it a shot here. Okay, the way I'm gonna do this is the sound meter registers a max volume over here, a max decibel. Right now it's at 89.2. That's the highest that this thing has recorded for, uh, since I've been out here today. I'm gonna shoot inside here first because I know it's gonna be a lower sound than when I shoot outside of it. So this will be my first max reading. And then whenever I shoot outside of it, it will give me my actual max. I don't wanna override, I don't wanna shoot outside of it first because then that's gonna be my max reading and this will actually fall under it. So I won't be able to capture it right here. See, I'm at 90.7 right now. So let me shoot inside here first. I've got a nine millimeter with the arms core ammunition in it. Let me go in my muzzle inside the trap, and here we go. Okay, 111.5 is what I got. Now, I want to keep the muzzle roughly in the same position because I want to be able to get the sound, the distance from where I shot roughly the same. So again, 111.5 is what it was inside. 111.7, so it, <laughs> it muffled it by 0 0.2 ten, or two tenths, I should say, uh, decibels. So not a huge reduction in sound there. Okay, let me reset my max. And let's go with the 45 now. Take it off safe. Let me go in the trap. Get inside the best I can. And here we go. All right, 111. Point two, and let's see here what the difference is. Roughly same muzzle distance, 112.4. All right, well, fair enough on that one. Let's reset that again. Let's see what the 308 does, all right? Let me get my 308 rounds 
put them in my uh, rifle here. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Now we want to stay straight. Now I want to keep the rifle in line with the uh, the trap. We don't want it to be crooked or shooting at the wall. So I'm at an angle here. All right. That was 114.2. <laughs> and as you can see, it blew the label off. All right, let's move that out of the way and let's see what it would be without the actual trap. Ah, 114.2. <laughs> so not much difference there. Well, it looks like if I plan on not freaking my neighbors out with uh, sound here and not having them freak out whenever they hear me shooting into this bullet trap, uh, that's probably not gonna happen. It looks like they're probably gonna be freaked out. Uh, I looked this thing over pretty thoroughly. I think that's actually kind of comical that the 308, when I fired into it, blew the label off the back side of it. Uh, that's kind of funny. Just, I mean, obviously it wasn't stuck on there very well, but uh, it did blow it off. But yeah, man, I've shot two 308 rounds in here. I don't see me using this thing a lot to shoot 308 in. I just wanted to test it to make sure that it could safely do that. And of course it did. Uh, no signs whatsoever um, of that in the bottom of it. Of course, again, we are double walled armor right here. So, um, and if you look inside of it, and I'll get a better shot of this, it's pin pricks, pin pricks into this, uh, this high density rubber that they have in here. So I like the composite stuff that they're using in here. Clearly it's taking that round and it's slowing it down big time before it has a chance to get to the backside of the end of this thing. So, uh, yeah, man. Now I guess the key will be how much lead, how many rounds can you put in here before your rounds, actually your newer rounds start bouncing off of the old ones that were in here. So that's gonna be the key. Um, I do need to do a little bit of research on that because I wanna kind of register that. I'm gonna you know, make a count today on what I put in here today and just get an idea of you know, how much lead I'm throwing in here because there will come a time when those rounds are just not gonna play well together in there and I need to get that high density composite material out of there and replace it with a new one. So anyway, this thing seems pretty cool. Um, yeah, my neighbors are probably still gonna freak out because uh, not a whole lot of sound reduction in here. It does seem like the handguns uh, are going to be a little bit quieter um, by what two tenths of a decibel uh, but nevertheless I you know I, inside a house a handgun round or what's mostly handgun rounds will probably be what I'll be using it for it's not going to make a whole lot of sound anyway because it's indoors it's highly insulated and it's in my sound studio anyway so anyway I like this thing uh, the bullet trap the clearing trap by action target again this is the rifle model this thing's going to sell for about 300 bucks the pistol model is going to be i think the pistol model is about 250 dollars so uh very cool man i mean if you're if you're wanting to do something like this whether it is to make sure that people that enter your establishment um, always have a clear gun or if you're going to be doing like i'm going to be doing and have your own shop or whatever and uh, every now and then need to clear a weapon or or even test fire a weapon these are pretty cool, man. I mean, I would definitely recommend you checking into it. Uh, again, it's an Action Target. Go to Action Target's website, check them out, and uh, tell them we sent you. They're pretty cool stuff, uh, great people to deal with. And I got to tell you guys, I did a lot of research on all these bullet traps. And uh, our buddy Mike over at Blown Deadline, he did some of his own, a little bit different type of traps that he was looking into. But man, Mike found one of the traps out there. And I'm not going to say who it is. It's not Action Target, but he found one where the uh, rifle round that he fired into it actually hit the steel plate, the armor inside, and ricocheted and bounced a uh, shot out of it. Not only did it ricochet off the plate in the bottom, but it actually came through the metal, out the top, and it, it hit him in his arm. Um, so yeah, man, there's some stuff out there. You don't wanna take a chance with manufacturers. I know Action Target has a proven record. Um, you know, we were referred to them by Max Michelle and we just i really believe in their products man and they stand behind their products this thing here um, i'm very confident there's no rounds that are come uh, flying back out of me and let me just make this quick point the one that mike from blow blown deadline had actually tested that ricocheted and came out that was his first few shots he was testing the bullet trap to see if it was one that he wanted to keep and use in his shop so it's not like he had an abundance of lead inside and it ricocheted and bounced off of other rounds we're talking about the first handful of rounds that went in there no reason why a round that's bouncing off of anything inside here should ever come out. It's one thing to bounce around, but, and it didn't come out of the hole where he put the muzzle in. It came through the metal and back out at him. Not cool. 
So you definitely want to go with a proven name brand. Action Target is one of those guys. And I appreciate them sending this out to me. I'm going to put this thing to a lot of use.